Hello loves, welcome back to my where is that? Okay. Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. I am Elizabeth Michael and thank you so much for tuning in. So today's video is gonna be about me. You are actually gonna be knowing more about me. All time subscribers, thank you so much for stopping back by as well as you know for the day ones. Thank you so much. Today's video is gonna be about me. Um we are not doing makeup today. Basically we are going to talk about me this lady here um i actually have written a few of questions um down and i actually just folded folded them into piece of papers and i'm actually gonna be selecting or choosing randomly because uh, those questions that i actually have written down is most of the questions that are that i get every day and most of the things most of the questions that i actually receive um on a daily basis and i just thought i should film no. about it and just let it all out telling all about myself so um that's basically what today's video is going to be about so i actually have my coffee here i actually have my coffee here and um yeah it's very very it's extremely cold in the coast guys it's very 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 cold and um it, I don't know if you guys can see my nose is even running I'm wiping and wiping and wiping but still this cold really got me so yeah so without further ado so these are the questions right that I actually have uh, put together these are the questions that I put together and I'm just gonna be selecting randomly and answering the questions so they are all about me remember they're all about me who I am what my name is and all that so those are the questions that you should expect in this video so without further ado let's get right into it so um without wasting time let's get to the first question i'm really enjoying this coffee guys hi i'm a huge fan of coffee like a huge fan the first question is do you have any brothers and sisters and how old are they um, I do have brothers and sisters, of course. I'm the first child of the family. We are five and um, I have four siblings. So I'm the first born and then comes my younger sister, 17 years old. And then uh, comes my two brothers, twin brothers that are this year 13 years old. And our last born is turning five this year. So basically we are five and yeah. Next. Do you have any pets and if you do what kind and what are their names guys i don't even know why i actually i mean this i think i should just throw this away already because i don't like pets guys i do not like pets i don't do pets i don't like dogs i don't like cats yo i hate pets guys and just the fact that my family actually my, my brothers as well as my dad like they are huge fans of pets and we like literally have i think three dogs at home so and it annoys me like you know, I hate pets guys I don't like pets so talking about pets I think you should just end here because I'm not gonna do this next question whom I've been through the most with the person whom I've been through the most with is my best friend oh, my nose is running guys the person whom I've, I've been through the most with is my best friend and um yeah we basically like really went through a lot since we've been friends for quite a long time we've been friends ever since um preschool until now can you guys imagine we are like yeah okay i'll i'll, I'll say that in i know there's, there's there's a question that there's a question about my age and i'm just not gonna say that now so yeah but then um we've been together like we've been friends for a very long time and we've been through a lot like a lot imagine from preschool until now so all those years we've been friends and a lot of things have been happening and we've been you know developing from stage to stage okay um adolescence and then it's now teenager and then you know from teenage i mean we have been through a lot and my best friend definitely she's the one she's the girl next question what's your favorite subject what was your favorite subject in high school guys <gasps> well i schooled at swakop secondary school i grew up in swakop of course and my favorite subject in high school i don't even know why i told you guys about where i schooled if you guys didn't if, if i didn't get that question but um my favorite subject was history like i really loved history simply because i mean there was no thoughts like you, you didn't have to think to like you know 
purpose or whatsoever all you needed to do is just summarize it's just you know understand the story and then you just summarize so basically history was my favorite subject and i've actually al always passed it with like yo satisfying symbols so i mean history is my favorite and it has always been my favorite it's such a pity that i didn't end up in the social um field I, <laughs> it's such a pity so but then history has always been my favorite the fact that i need to like just summarize and understand that's all that's required in history not compared to maths and other subjects whereby you have to think you have to think about how you're gonna get a formula or you, you have to come up with a formula or you have to think about how you are gonna get to a certain answer mm -mm. with history you just summarize understand and summarize and that's it and listen in class oh gosh and that was like my favorite most of the time i'll just listen and then um when i go home i just go summarize i just go read through and then because i already understand the story right so my part was just to read through and then get it over and done with and get my straight a's and b's my dear okay next question and my coffee isn't actually getting cold i'm talking too much who would you tell everything to guys my best friend of course i mean no one ever knows me better than, better than my best friend my best friend knows me in and out not even my relatives knows me better than my my best friend. like she knows my deep secrets <laughs> she knows me like yo uh -uh. like definitely i'll definitely tell everything to my best friend like she knows me maria Dapandula Hamukoto. girl you are the one <laughs> Not even my cousins can compete with her like position in my life or my cousins or my relatives in relatives in general like not not like not any of them can compete with with like you know with Maria's position in my life because I don't think nobody can ever take over that position. I mean nobody. <laughs> okay, but enough about my best friend. Next question. What's your favorite book at the moment? Uh, my favorite book is The Story of Hope. I'm really, really inspired by that book. Like very, very, very inspired by that book. So I think you should get yourself that book. If you don't, if you haven't read that book yet, I think you should just get yourself that book because I am really inspired by that book. Um, I was actually influenced by my cousin to get it because I actually didn't really want to read it. I don't even know why I didn't want to read it. But then I, I just got persuaded by my cousins and then they just literally influenced me to read the book. And uh, yo just when i read the first i think the first four pages or so i was like yo i elizabeth you really like you, you thought you you thought you went through it all but this is nothing compared to your story oh gosh guys you need to read that book if you really want to be successful okay we are all overcomers but if you really want to be successful or if you really have a purpose in life <laughs> grab that book Okay, let me just show you the book. This is the book. If you want a copy of this book, you can follow him on the details on the screen. Contact him and grab yourself a book. Grab yourself this very inspiring book. You'll thank me later. Next question. What's your favorite color? Guys, I don't really have a favorite color. Um, I love colors based on seasons. During winter, I really love wearing warm colors, especially at work. I love wearing warm colors. Colors like dark purple, like maroon, that fairy brown. And, you know, I love wearing warm colors. And during summer, I love wearing bright colors. Colors like yellow, light green, light pink, and yeah, flora. So, I mean, I don't really have a specific favorite color, but I just love wearing colors according to this, to the, according to the season. So, next question. Guys, my nose. Yo. How old are you and when is your birthday? I saw this coming. I am a 96 baby. <laughs> I'm 23 this year, turning 24 in October. Okay, I'm 23 currently and turning 24 in October. My birthday is on the... 8th of October proud 96 baby do you play any sports if so what sports do you play guys I am not a sports person 
I am not a sports person. I don't do sports. I'm not a sportsman. But then I used to run a hundred meters in high school. I used to do long jump as well. I was I was really good at long jump in a long jump in high school as well as a hundred meters. I'll always come first or second, but I left that in high school. I mean, I don't even remember when when last I did sports. Last time I did something related to sports was like in college. I don't even know if I should say it's, it's uh, but then I think it is, it is, but I mean, we'll do squats and stuff. <laughs> so I think, yeah, that was the last time. And that was like, um, 2018, 2018 or 2017 when I was in my second year, 20, 2017. So, I mean, yo, uh -uh, I am not a fan of sports, but I think I should engage. It's, it's really a good thing to engage in sports, guys. You shouldn't be like me. Please engage in sports. It's very, very healthy. <laughs> What are the names of my parents? I mean, what are you guys even going to do with the names of my parents? Like, just what? I actually have three parents. Weird, isn't it? Yeah, um, I actually have three parents. I have my, I have one mother. And Okay, but I don't, I don't even know what you guys, I don't even know what this question means. Does it mean, um, okay, parents, let me just put it like the people that gave birth to me. <laughs> but still, I have three parents. <laughs> I have one mom. And two dads. Ms. Lina Dalila Shiwa Kanguya. My first dad's, dad's name is Sakaria Michael. And my second dad's name is Hidian Namindo. Well, uh, guys, my second dad, my second dad is actually my stepfather, and I love them both. So it will just be very. I just feel like it, it will just be very unfair if I just mentioned one in, because I, I I really love them both. What are your insecurities? Um, I don't know. Okay, I don't know if, if, if this is referring to my body, but yeah, something that I'm really, really insecure about on my body is my boobs. Like, guys, yeah, it's I'm just I'm very insecure about my boobs because I feel like I, it feels a little bit uncomfortable having big boobs and having a small, such a small body. So. I'm very very insecure simply because i mean you can't even go like some people can even go to shops you can just decide okay no i'm i have to go to go to the store and you just grab a t-shirt and then you just go but some of us you need to look for a bra you can't just walk out of the door and just you know go i mean <laughs> you'll be scaring people away so that's that's one thing that i'm really insecure uh, about i can't even have just have my my pgs on without a bra indoors I just feel very uncomfortable and I feel like they just don't look good. So I'm very, very insecure about my boobies. But I think I'm, I won't be, um, I actually think I won't really be having this problem in future anymore because I believe I'm going to gain weight. I believe, I believe I'm going to gain like a lot of weight since um, most of my relatives are like thick, like most of my family, like most of my relatives are thick, starting with my grandma, my mom, my mom's siblings, like almost everybody like probably size 38 and up <laughs> uh, guys please don't come beat me up but yeah basically um yeah i think i'm gonna i will be gaining in future and uh, and i'm pretty sure if i gain my body is gonna be balancing with my boobies and then i won't be having this problem anymore one thing that i'm really insecure about on my body is my boobies what's my full name i'm pretty sure you guys have been waiting for this question <laughs> like you've been longing for this question well my full name is elizabeth duenukumwe michael i'm well known by the name elizabeth michael online like on all social media platforms and um offline like i mean uh, when i say offline when i'm talking about offline i mean um like offline at work probably when i was in in university at like all around like all around so i'm well known by the name Duini, which is shortened so my full name is my full middle name is Duini Kuma and but, but then i'm just well known by Duini, which is shortened and um it basically means let's go together or let's get together and yeah so um i'm really comfortable with Duini because of uh, Oh, the pronunciation of my Elizabeth name. I hardly introduce myself as Elizabeth simply because I do not like it when people mispronounce my name. So, um, Duyeni is more easier for everybody to pronounce. So that's why I always introduce myself as Duyeni. Who is my best friend? I said that, like I said that earlier. <laughs> my best friend's name is Maria Hamukoto. That's, those are her details on the screen. Please follow her on Instagram and as well as send her a friend request on Facebook. And yeah.
what do you do i am so sure you guys have been waiting for this question or longing for this question um as well so i am currently employed as an administrative officer as well as a bidding clerk and i work at an electrical construction company that's basically what i do and i do makeup on the side as well and currently managing my youtube channel or trying to grow my youtube channel you guys should subscribe to my channel once again <laughs> that's a reminder so yeah basically let's go to our last question i wonder what it is where were you born wow guys i actually i'm actually born in a very small village in the northern part of namibia of course because i am an oshiwambo speaking young lady <laughs> I, I'm born in the northern part of the of the country in um, in a Nola constituency, a few kilometers away from Ashakati, and in a small village in that Ndola constituency constituency. <laughs> that word, yeah, named Omahenge. So I'm born there. I am born at home, guys. Y'all, like, wow, like. I feel so unique and special like very unique not born in the, i am not born in the hospital guys i'm born at home very 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 so very, basically very, yeah i am born in uh, omahenga village in andola constituency if you can we are done with the questions let me sip my coffee we have come to the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for making it to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed yet please be sure to subscribe tap the notification button in order to be notified every time i upload a new video guys don't want to be missing out on my makeup tutorials and a lot of things that i talk about life as well as um vlogs of course so yeah if you haven't subscribed then please be sure to subscribe like the video if you like it and share the video if you would love to share it with the other people so it's a goodbye from me elizabeth michael see you in my next video <laughs>